Good morning, San Francisco. We are not in San Francisco. We are in Orlando. And I am in my Ravenclaw house robes. No shame. Erin got her Hufflepuff robe. I got my Ravenclaw robe. My dad was nice enough to buy them for us because if you're gonna do Harry Potter world, you gotta do it right and you gotta go big. But we are already running late for the shuttle because we have early entry since we're staying in the hotel. Oh yeah, it's Friday, November 10th. I forgot to tell you that. 75 degrees, windy. I hear someone, no. 75 degrees, windy, with no chance of rain, although it kind of looks like it's gonna rain. Let me show you this view. What? This is insane. That's crazy. Our room is a mix between the 70s and the 50s. We kind of have a little bit of an Austin Powers suite going on. Hi! <laughs> There's one bathroom. Another, okay, that one's dark. Please ignore the mess. We just woke up and we're rushing. But this is Aaron in my room and look at that. There's just these, I feel like I'm in a fish tank. So anyways, because we are staying at this hotel, we get early admission into the park. We're so excited. So, but we have to go to Hogsmeade first and then we have to wait until nine o'clock when Diagon Alley opens and take the train that way. But Aaron and I have decided we're not getting our wands until we actually go to the true Diagon Alley. Or as Harry Potter would say, Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. Yeah, put your robe on. Put your robe on. <gasps> You have not been blackmailed. It looks so good. You can actually see your colors. Mine blend in with the black. Hello, are you going to hog? That's a terrible accent. I don't know what that was. It's kind of scary. Wait, I want to put my hood up, but then it makes my hair all staticky. Nice view of a volcano in the back. Oh gosh. It just doesn't want to. We should probably get going. Yeah. That's not <laughs> What am I doing? I'm not sure. but not super sweet. Boy, this rum is really good. <laughs> is it sugary?
five walls. Since 382 BC. And the one we Get Aaron. This is the Holly wand. It's beautiful. For people who are awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I am back home now. You can probably tell from my voice that I'm sick. I ended up getting a cold after getting off the plane, which is why I'm not showing myself on camera because I just needed a day to recoup and relax. But I wanted to show you guys some of the souvenirs and things that I got from Harry Potter World. So the first one is this Ravenclaw crest and I'm super excited. I'm actually going to put it up on my wall. I took down the picture. Hi, Lacey. I are you gonna say hello? I'm going to, obviously I already took the picture down, but I just need to get another nail so that way I can hang up my Ravenclaw crest and I think it'll look really cool on this gallery wall. And then I haven't, this isn't what the final product is going to look like, but I did go ahead and get a display case for my wand or a display stand. And then I did get Hermione's time turner. So that is the necklace right there in its cute little case. You can see my Harry Potter book. So I'm definitely going to make a dedicated shelf for Harry Potter. I don't know where I'm going to do this. And maybe once I figure it out and rearrange this, I will do a bookshelf tour. But the wands, I got two wands. I got Luna Lovegood's wand because she's awesome. She's a Ravenclaw. I didn't even realize she was a Ravenclaw, but my sister was like, Luna Lovegood's a Ravenclaw. So I got her wand, but this one is actually the hazel wand, and I'll go ahead and pop up the description on the screen. I was going back and forth between getting the ash wand and the hazel wand, but the description for the hazel wand, I feel like it fit, it just fit my personality and who I am more. And you guys obviously saw the house robes I was wearing as well as the tie and I did get a scarf as well. So I feel like I can use that for Halloween costumes or if I feel like just being a wizard and running around the house, I can do that too. So anyways, that is going to conclude this vlog. I know it was a little bit shorter, but again, I don't get to go on very many vacations. So I really just wanted to enjoy it with my family. So I tried to get as much footage as I could, but I also wanted to enjoy it with my own two eyes and not be behind a screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog to Harry Potter World. I definitely plan on going back and I highly recommend going if you haven't gone. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.